From April to June 2007, people living along the eastern corner of the Georgia-Florida line were threatened by what would become the largest wildfire on record in the two states. While firefighters were busy cutting lines, foresters were using a mix of weather data to potentially save thousands of acres and lives. So what we do is we input both basically the, an historical analysis of the weather and the fuel conditions to determine you know, how fast or to what intensity a fire will burn across the landscape. It is a sophisticated computer model now used by 13 southern states that aims to forecast where fire disaster may strike. Looking at factors such as vegetation, terrain and weather conditions, foresters mark the lay of the land and determine which communities are most at risk. The data is then used to help firefighters and residents spell out the what ifs caused by what else but weather. You know, as far as our weather inputs into this model, we have things like relative humidity, uh, maximum temperatures, uh, wind speed and direction, and then we create basically climate zones across a large geographic area and use the weather to basically determine, you know, to what level um, of you know, temperature relative humidity is going to lead to extreme fire behavior. To me, what really makes it a great tool is it's very difficult to convince some communities that they live in a fire prone area. People just don't believe it or, or maybe don't want to believe it. And you can drive up and say, hey, this is a fire prone area, and you know, people will say, well, so what? But when you pull out the maps produced by the Southern Wildfire Risk Assessment and show them how their community actually compares to surrounding areas, they start to believe what you're saying. In Atlanta, I'm Julie Martin, The Weather Channel.